I was asked by several people in several forums how I accomplished this digital watercolor type image. Um, first of all, this was under a tight deadline. I had a day to do it. Uh, the design changed up until the last hour. Um, the model started off in Revit. Um, some modeling done was, was done in um, Rhino and then finished up in 3ds Max using the V-Ray render engine. I uh, texture mapped it in V-Ray. I rendered out two paths, the beauty pass and the uh, three passes, the beauty pass, the um, inclusion pass, and a tune pass. Um, so here's the beauty pass, the tune pass, and the ambient um, inclusion pass. I took that beauty pass into um, Paranesi and then I applied two filters. I filled it with white and then I took the soft restore brush, brought up to 100, 999 pixels and just brought some color back. If you haven't used Paranesi if I let go of the mouse, it'll be a layering effect, so it'll add more um, contrast. So let's bring more detail out here. And my focal point is that doorway, so I'm going to release the mouse and start again here. And that's good. I also use the um, raster relief brush. I kept it relatively small and I again started bringing back some color and detail. And same thing here, if I pick up my mouse and lay it back down, it layers the effect. So I'll go over it once. And then go over it again. Okay, then I save that image, export it, uh, I'll save it, sample's fine, it ping's fine. I also tried another effect, um, yes there's a, a third filter I used on a different image. On that tune pass I did the um, line wobble here in Paranesi. So when this is saved, I'll close it out because so I'm done here. I'm going to do a new Epex. I'm going to pick that tune. Pass. And I simply went to my wobble. And it applies just a subtle little wobble there. I can increase or decrease the intensity. Um, but this remembered my last setting, so this is what I used. I saved that out here in Photoshop. Let me open up those three passes. So here's the one from um, Paranesi, and that's the tune from Paranesi with the wiggle. Copy that to my clipboard, paste that over it, apply a multiplier, and there it is. We wanted to have it more detailed here and less in the perimeters, so I applied a, um, a mask here. I'm going to hit Alt, the mask key. And I'm going to use my radio button, my radial tool here. And kind of work it like that. And then I actually did it again. Multiplier. And I didn't pick the alt. I just picked the mask. And then I did the same thing. I just I want I wanted control over. So that controls the outside. That controls the inside. 
Um, and we want a little bolder on the outside, so I'm just going to duplicate that. Gets a little bolder. Um, so that's the process I used. I kind of massaged it a lot um, from here. The omni occlusion pass. I think I had it open here. Here we go. I used that as well. Uh, where are we? We're here. And I did a multiplier and I just brought that way down. I also um, threw some watercolor scans over my image. Um, sometimes my net network's kind of slow here. Here we go. So here in my texture library I have a folder for watercolors. And I have a paper folder. And I grabbed one of these and I think it was it was that one. Control A, Control C, select all, copy. Control V, Control T. And I just um I think it was overlay, nope, maybe screen. Wasn't screen, soft light. There, it was multiplier, and I just dropped opacity way down. So I just worked back and forth. Um, I spent a lot more time on the final, as you can see, than I just spent the last six minutes, seven minutes showing you the, the process. Um, one thing I also did, which I think helped, I'm going to drop that out of there. I control alt shift and E made a copy of all the layers. Above that layer, I created a non-destructive U saturation. I cranked up the saturation really high. I linked the saturation layer to the layer below it, held on alt, hovered over the the bar, picked it. So now that only affects that layer. Then I did a alt mask and I used a brush and then I painted back in over the flowers. Um, again I spent much more time on the other one but that really made the flowers pop. Um, I added people. One key I found um, for people is in your model box things out so you get the scale right. And I learned this from a, from a forum tip and uh, everything I learned has been from forums. You ask a question, there's people much smarter than I am and they have the answer. So I scaled things here and then I brought that into Photoshop and just used that layer as a reference. And you'll be surprised in how you can be a little bit off on scale and it'll throw people. Um, so that's how I accomplished this uh, this image. We did it was a a group of people each each person I think wanted had their own um, idea of what the end result is and I kind of feel we we tried to make everybody happy and in the end we made an Etzel um, an Etzel is a car the US government uh, made um, people's choice and it ended up being a bomb because nobody liked it um, this was almost the same thing People wanted photorealistic. People wanted watercolor. People wanted a happy medium. People wanted a lot of detail. People wanted no detail. Um, this is what we ended up with. But it seemed to have struck a chord with some people because they, they asked how I accomplished it. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to um, post, and I'll um, be sure to uh, get back to you. Thank you.